Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my boxy charm unboxing for the month of June. That's the month it is. So I got my boxy charm here. They didn't cover up the good old boxy charm this time. And I'm going to go ahead and dig right in. First, don't forget to go subscribe to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up and let's just go ahead and get started. So whenever I open up the box, this is what the card looks like. Super, super cute. Has little stripes on it, not showing up on camera, I don't think. It says, get away. There are five full-size products in here, and if you aren't familiar with it, box, the box retails for like $20, $21 a month, somewhere around there. If you prepay, you get it cheaper. If not, you can pay month by month. You get such good products for full-size. So, I'm going to go ahead and dig into this box. The first thing that I am pulling out is this little pencil. This is Dirty Little Secret. What is this? Hmm. <laughs> lip liner. Smooth and creamy. This Dirty Little Secret lip liner is here to help you create the perfect pout. Retails for $15. This is a color. Really, really good color. Um, it looks like one, though, that you have to sharpen. So I'm not going to open this. Probably put it in a giveaway because I like the ones that you don't have to sharpen, even though I have some like this and they're fine from MAC. But just hit myself in the head but pretty color like how it's neutral love a good lip liner the second thing is this steve laurent jelly highlighter that is what that looks like it has like a little plastic thing around it this retails for 26 dollars. oh my gosh this is over the box amount look at the color of it too really pretty it has like a pinkish tone to it so i'm gonna open this and see if it's good i'm gonna swatch it i have a million highlighters so i probably need another one no, but take off the plastic and I have a Fenty one on. You kind of see the little glitter from it, but we're just gonna, oh yeah, that is like wet feeling. Bly ding. Really, really pretty. Um, can you see it on camera? Is the brightness turned up too much? Don't know. That's what it looks like though. Let me grab a brush. Is it doing anything? Yeah, that's pretty blinding. Love a good highlight. Pretty blinding in my mirror. I and mean, it is jelly, so it's kind of a little bit hard to pick up on the brush. Let me try with my finger. Yeah, you almost get more effect on your finger. Like, watch this. It is definitely jelly and not a powder. So, there's my good old fingerprint in that. Really, really pretty. Retails for $26. My finger is very highlighted and very blinding, kind of like wet looking. So we love a good highlight. Then the next thing I'm super excited for, I actually already opened this. This is the Dominate Cosmetics Lemonade Lip Gloss. Retails for $17. This one is called Peach Tea. So I'm going to open it. This is what it looks like. Really, really pretty. I have not tried anything from her brand. So I'm really excited to do that. It smells like, like food, like a Bath and Body Works candle. Love. It's not sticky either at all. I don't really like a super sticky gloss. That makes your lips look so juicy. I think I'm obsessed and I love how it smells. See, it's not sticky. Not sticky at all. Love it. Love how it smells. Love the packaging. They just look like plump and like wet and juicy. And yeah, this one's called Peach Tea. Retails for $17. It does feel like really hydrating. Might have found a favorite. I'm obsessed. Then the next thing, which I love this brand. This is the No Problem Touch and Soul um prime essence really excited this is 23 dollars so yeah it's a prime essence so i don't know if you use it like an essence or just like a primer or if you can use it for both this is what it looks like this is sold at ulta but i've never tried it i just have the no pore blum actual like primer there's a primer by them that i have and i want to see how this is here um i'm gonna open it See kind of what it feels like. This retails for $23. Oh, so it's like really, really watery. I don't know if you can see it on my hand. I have it 
up here and it's just like water you can't even see it so I think I might use this as more of like an essence than an actual primer because I usually go in with a pore filling primer it says no pore blend prime essence so um not for sure if I would just use this as a primer but definitely an essence I'll have to try that out once I'm done with my Tatcha one and then this retails for $36 this is the last thing in here Tarte be with you naturally eyeshadow palette so we have actually gotten a Tarte eyeshadow palette in here before. I think like multiple times. I have one. I got this one in my boxy charm here. And this one looks like that. Really, really neutral. A lot of shimmers. So wonder what this one is. So I've gotten this one before. This is the one that comes in the box this month. That is what it looks like. So we have pretty much the same thing maybe a little bit more matte than shimmer don't know how I feel about this Tarte eyeshadow palettes are good we already got a neutral palette like this in from Tarte literally the same shape and everything so we do have this let me know what you guys think about it it is Tarte it is really good the colors are really pretty really wearable but is it too similar to this one here let me know your thoughts so that retails for $36, which is way over the box amount. So you're getting your money's worth in this gloss. Girl, it looks like my lips are wet. Also, if you guys are wondering what the sparkle is in my eyes, Hourglass, love, love, love. So that is it for the box. Let me know what you guys think about this month. Was it good? Was it bad? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Let me know. Look, this dress, the hanger straps are hanging out. I need to tuck them in. Look a little ratchet. So that is it for this month's box. Let me know what you think about it all. I think I really liked it. I like these two things probably the best. Even though we got a Tarte eyeshadow palette, it is a little similar. Oh, and I love I like this. I'm really excited for that because I love the brand. It's a little similar though to the other Tarte palette that we got. That's my only thing about that. So yeah. Um that is it for this video. Go subscribe. Give the video a big thumbs up. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.